Hiya. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lavish V here and a big thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. You are awesome, awesome, awesome. For those of you who are new to my channel, what I do here, it is some hair, fashion, makeup, beauty, vlogging, and a lot of perfume reviews. Yes, if you haven't already subscribed, come on you know what to do please hit the subscription button along with the notification bell please watch my videos and leave me some thumbs up and guys girl woman man please do not forget to comment in my comment section as i am so enjoying the interaction with all of you guys so please keep the comments coming so yes guys without further ado let's jump right into today's video and today i have for you um some fragrance review and yes these um fragrance i'm about to review i when i have had purchased um some fragrances i was sent um three uh of this um novelista um two mils 1.2 mil um fragrances and it's these one here so guys um what we have here we are we've got oud venture um and then we are going to move on with velvet dusk and then we have unique wood so guys i am gonna be starting with all these um novelista fragrances they are said to be unisex fragrances um and i just want to go through them to see which one is a full bottle worthy and what they really smell like so i've tested them and um decided to do a review on them and to help you to choose um which one and how it smell and so on so i'm gonna be starting with oud venture i'll be putting the notes on the screen right here for you and while i get um the oud venture out of this um packaging and um get a testing strip to test it so guys whilst i'm doing that you are looking at the notes these um spraying thing they are very hard to spray and i've got it on my hand so hopefully my baby is asleep and he won't come finding me before i have to scrub this thing off my hand so mm, i'm gonna wanna say that without even smelling um this uh oud venture straight in my nose it woofed and what I honestly get from this one, it is detergent, medicinal garbage. Like, I would not want to smell like Oud Venture because it just kind of reminds me of when I was younger and they used to try to wash the dog and this thing called Jay's and... It smells stinky and the dogs would not like it. And even for the human beings couldn't stand the smell of it. So this one kind of reminds me of Jay's. And I would not want to smell like dog wash um, Jay's that kills, um, I think it kills, uh, what do you call this thing? Fleas and stuff like that. So this Oud Venture I don't want to venture that much to smell like this. I don't like this. And I don't know what they have put in it because I didn't look up the notes. But I'm getting some saffron and I'm sure it's got oud in this one. And a lot of combination of whatever else they have tried to put in this. But I'm going to be honest. This does not smell like even I would not want my man to smell like this. And I would definitely not want to smell like this. Because man perfumes sometimes smell um, very manly, masculine, uh, 
kind of smell but this is not masculine this is disgusting crap and i'm sorry novelista i cannot like this this one is even upsetting me and spoiling my day and i might sound melodramatic or whatever you want to call it but it's really disgusting let us move on so the next one i'm gonna move on to and the next one i'm getting from the card it is um the novelista um velvet dusk so let us get a testing strip and um spray it it's difficult to spray like i've said okay put that down right there this one guys this one this one smells uh, like it has a floral that is in decadence. It kind of come up with this um, velvety smooth kind of fragrant um, floral smell. And it's definitely citrusy and it's fresh and floral and a little bit spicy to smelling to me and 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 smell a bit aromatic type of concussion but is it one again it's got some earthy vibe on the dry and um And a bit of a tobacco smell. So whether it be fresh tobacco or it is dry tobacco, I don't know, but I get that smell. So it's got an earthy, um, citrusy, tobacco-y, floral, uh, spicy, fresh, green smell. And yeah, it's not bad. <clears throat> it's better than the first one. So this Velvet Dusk, I would say it's better than um, Vel Wood Venture, but still not pulling me towards purchasing a bottle of this, this fragrance. But again, if I smell this on someone, I would kind of believe that they got rubbed in a bush like it smelled bushy like it smells bushy there is this flower when i was growing up again that um you pick to sweep the yard like you you use it as a broom and that's what i'm getting that's what I'm getting from this um, Velvet Dusk. It is really like that uh, flower that it, it had flower on the end of that thing I'm talking about. And it does smell like that plant. But I don't know what that plant is called. But that's what it's popping for me. It, it definitely smells dusty. But not an old dusty, a fresh floral dusk if that makes sense and smooth citrus earthy tobacco vibe on the dry down the dry down is better than the initial spray so that would be a maybe seen a man in it but not really a woman so a maybe for a man the velvet dusk maybe for a man but not i'm not so big time so the next one it is unique words so it's this one and again the notes is gonna be on the screen here for you because i haven't got notes guys so um look at the notes while i get spraying it on the testing strip and this one another list of unique words let's put you there and get smelling this one again this one very manly 
This one does not smell anything unisex in my opinion. It's just direct man. Direct man. It smells okay. I don't mind the smell of this one at all. The smell of this one smells spicy and lavendery and woody and it smells herbal like some herbal ointment some uh sleep aid kind of smell that you put in that um what what do you call that thing again the one that fumigates and uh vaporizer that plug-in one so it smells aromatic and herbal and smell some vanilla and woodiness and some citrus in this um what's it called again novelista unique wood so yeah it's a nice man perfume i'm not going to put this on my body as a woman because this has everything to do with masculinity and i'm not sensing any smell for ladies here the vanilla still comes through on a man level and i'm getting pure pure masculinity in this one there is absolutely no chance of me putting this on to wear it out Overall, I want to say that when I tested them, as you can see, I've used half the bottle or more than half the bottle. Um, and like all of them, it is... Uh-oh, I hope I didn't break it. Anyway, like I'm saying, this um, Novelista, checking the name on here, um, out of the three like i said the um unique woods unique wood is it unique wood it fell unique wood where are you yeah unique wood is not woods unique wood unique wood it is the nicer of the three and you get the lavender vanilla woody herbal aromatic kind of smell it smells okay and it smells very very masculine so for me it would be a man's perfume and i think it would smell good on a guy but for unisex <laughs> for um which one did i start with uh wood venture definitely not for men or women it is like a um what what's this thing called again bug and animal wash more like that then the next one it was oud venture and no that was oud venture smell like jays like dog wash Ugh. um flea killing thing yeah that's what that smelled like then the next one was uh, velvet dusk it fell and i don't want to bend down in the video so sorry um velvet dusk it smelled dusty <laughs> like some bush when you walk through the woods are uh, so so like a dusk plant definitely the name resembles the smell and it smelled okayish but still uh i'm not liking it anyway let us close the chapter i hope that it's been useful um to you i've been honest and expressing the fragrance well in my opinion so i hope it helped you into if you want to choose one of this novelista novelista um unisex fragrances so yeah i'll check out their female fragrances and see if any of those come up trump but as for this unique um, e um unisex line i'm not feeling it at all take good care